I remember some time back there was a man he was he was troublesome in the sense that he has done a lot of hurtful things to a lot of people but he passed away and when he passed away the news spread so I'm on one whatsapp group and the news spread so and so passed away four or five people they said Alhamdulillah and I said imagine if I die do I want people to say Alhamdulillah I corrected them. I said, no brothers, don't say no matter what. This is the point where you say, Inna lillah wa inna ilayhi rajiun. Allah says to us through the blessed lips of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam, when someone has passed away, say good things about them. It's over. The game is over. You know, if they lost 7-0, they lost. Allah, say it once and leave it. So, you know, those of you who are, those of you who are in football, I know what you are thinking. Eh? <laughs> I didn't realize even Indonesia is interested. Eh? Actually, the whole world is interested in football, right? So you mention it once and it's over. You don't have to keep after the game is over. Your whole life you are mentioning 7-0, 7-0, you know. You don't have to say that. Allah grant us ease. <laughs> My brothers and sisters, the amazing thing is Allah loves those who serve and who help and who love one another for His sake and His pleasure. You know, I tell you something very powerful, very powerful. When you do good to other people, why are you doing the good? Ask yourself. That's a very powerful question. If I am kind to you, I see you and I'm very kind to you and very, very, you know, helpful and so on. Why am I doing it? Ask yourself. I swear by Allah, if you are doing it for the sake of Allah, you will not mind whether they are good to you in return or not because you are not doing good to them because you think they deserve the goodness, but rather you are doing good to them because you know that Allah loves those who do good. No matter who they are doing it to. I am kind to you, not because I even know you. I don't even know you in that sense. I am kind to you because I know Allah loves those who are kind. I am, I am good to you because I know Allah loves those who are good. I am not good to you because I think you deserve good. If I am good to you because of your deserving, we would never be good to one another. Because shaitan would always come to us and make us think, why are you good to this person? They don't deserve to be good. That's why the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, did good to those who did bad to him. He was still good to them. That's on another level altogether. But he taught that to us. Sometimes we are so weak, we cannot. Imagine someone does bad to you. How are you going to do good to them? It's not easy. But if you're a believer, you can.